Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going over how to find the perimeter of a polygon on a coordinate plane. Let's go. Okay, so here's our first polygon and it's actually graphed up for us. Now, first things first, the X always goes across and the Y always goes up and down. And then next, these little dots are actually called vertices. So make a V with your arms, your elbows are where they connect, that's the vertice. Same with your fingers. Where they connect is the vertice. Our vertices here, one, two, three, four. But in this case, we're gonna label them A, B, C, and D, and they're each gonna have their own coordinates. So we have A, whose coordinates are going to be two, five. We're gonna have B, whose coordinates are seven, five. C is going to be coordinates two, two. And D is going to be coordinates seven, two. Now that we have our coordinates, I need to figure out the space between them in order to find our perimeter. So I'm basically figuring out how long our width is, because our width is how wide it is, and our length, how tall it is. Since this shape has four sides, we should have four different lengths that we will add up to find the perimeter. Let's do it together. So if you were using graph paper, you could just count how many spaces. Since we don't, I'm gonna count spaces this way. So I see that we are starting at two and we are ending at seven. So I jump one, two, three, four, five. That means this goes five spaces because these match, this one is five as well. Now on this side, we start at five, we go down to two or vice versa. So let's jump down one, two, three. So my lengths should be three. Now to find the perimeter, I'm gonna add all four of those numbers up. So I should have five plus five plus three plus three. This gives me 10, this gives me six. So all together, the perimeter is 16 units. Now, there's gonna be times where it doesn't give you a graph. It's just going to give you the coordinates. And from there, you can either decide to graph the coordinates or I'm gonna show you a real simple way to find the distance of each side to add together for your perimeter by just looking at the coordinates. Let me show you that one. Okay, so from here I have my coordinates. Now the coordinates are always X and then Y. So basically you're going to find the X's that match and the X's that match, you just subtract the Y's. And then you find the Y's that match and then you just subtract the X's that are different. That's going to give you a difference of units. So let's go ahead and see which ones have the X's that match. Right off the bat, I see that A and B both have two that matches their X. I have A and B, and then I'm going to go ahead and subtract the ones that don't match. So I'm looking at these two, five and one. That equals four. So that means that has a four unit difference. Now I'm gonna go to the next one where I see that we have our fours match in the X. So I am looking at our Y's. So this is for coordinates C and D that match. Equals four units. Now, this gives me a clue that I am dealing with a rectangle. It will not always be, but all the ones in this lesson will be rectangles. So next, I'm going to go ahead and find my Y's that match and subtract my X's. So here I see that one and one. So I'm matching A and D. I subtract the ones that don't match. So I'm looking at this four and two. Two leaves me with two units. Next, I have my, okay, five and five, which is B and C. Ones that don't match, I have four and two. Again, these match A and D because it is a rectangle. So now, all four sides are covered. These are the distances for each one, but now I need to add them up in order to find the perimeter. And add these up. So I have eight, and I have four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And that is our perimeter. There you go. Let's go ahead and do one more. Okay, here's our next list of coordinates. Let's go ahead and find the perimeter. So first things first, I'm going to look for the X's that match. I see three and three. So that means our coordinates E and F. I'm gonna take the ones that don't match. So I'm looking at eight and six. That's going to give me two units. Then 
over here, I see that I have seven and seven. So our matching ones are G and H. The ones that don't match are eight and six. Two units. Okay, now I'm going to the Y's that don't match. So I can subtract the X's. I see I have six and six. So this time I'm going to have E and H and then subtract the ones that do not match. So I have seven and three. Same thing over here, my eights match. So that's going to be F and G. The ones that don't match, I subtract. Seven take away three. Okay, and these are just where they connect. So these are the vertices. So they'll connect at E and F, G and H and so forth. So these are just the areas of each side. Let's go ahead and add them together in order to find the perimeter. So I take these, add them, I see. Okay, those would be four. These would be eight. Eight, nine, 10, 11. And again, I have 12 units. And that's my perimeter. All right, so there's a quick review on how to find perimeter of a polygon on a coordinate plane or using ordered pairs. If you liked this video, please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.